I am a Muslim lady. Since my childhood, my father used to give everything he had bought first to me, saying this is the Holy Prophet's recommendation. In order to follow the Prophet's tradition, he used to kiss me first before turning to my brother. According to Islamic narrations, he considered my mother blissful and propitious because her first child was a girl whom he called a flower. When I got married, I was released of the heavy task of jihad. Now I could give a glass of water to my husband only to be held as my jihad. The Almighty God has given me the right of dowry and alimony to get financial independence. On the other hand, I can study, investigate, and practice art throughout my life without being worried about my sustenance, since the Almighty God has assigned this task to my father or my husband. My father was always careful not to break my heart because the Holy Prophet has declared women are as sensitive and fragile as crystals. Do not aggrieve them. When I became a mother, the Almighty God kindly bestowed his love and affection on me so that I can bring up the next generation. He set paradise under my feet as a reward. He doubled my father, my brother, and my husband's dia to compensate for me their unrightful absence. I am proud of being a Muslim whose prophet has declared such a good offsprings are girls. Loving, helper, caring, companion, clean, and interested in cleanliness. The meaning of all this is that I'm different.